The girls and I spent the night on a cruise ship last night with Blue Lagoon Cruises. The food was fantastic. They had some singing and dancing and a kava ceremony last night. It was really good and the sleep was really, really comfortable. The bed was awesome. Now we're on our way to mainland once again where we'll be doing a river safari and some shopping. After eating a delicious breakfast and freshening up on the ship, we hit the road toward the town of Singatoga. We are currently on our way to Singatoga Market where we're going to be hopefully trying some interesting fruits and maybe some other food and drink. I love markets so I'm really excited about this. Nadine and I are all strapped up as you can see and we're ready for our Singatoga off-road cave safari. We are going to explore the largest cave system here in Fiji. during the Civil War, over 400 women and their children were hid in this cave so that they were safe from what was happening outside of it in the village. Lights, camera, action, let's go. Whoa. <laughs> We are in Nahiki Cave, which is about 170, 180 meters wide and 150 meters tall. We are in here with the village chief because you are not allowed to come in here any other way. Supposedly you'll get lost and that's never good in a cave. This little tunnel down here, which is um, you gotta duck quite a bit. This is where the pregnant women would uh, try to hide from the chief if they're pregnant and the chief didn't know. Why would this be an issue? Because most of the time they'd be pregnant with the babies of men from other villages and the chief really likes to keep it in the village. Watch the camera. Protect the camera. Protect the baby. Nadine's trying to protect her baby. The camera. Her camera baby. Oh, it's deep. It's getting deeper and deeper. I am walking through the holy bath. Only women that were allowed to bathe in here. Behind me is the cannibal oven. Nadine. Chris. <laughs> Two American scuba divers were invited here. They are the only two that have ever been to another part of this cave. No one else has ever been there. And it's like this other chamber, this other cathedral. It has gemstones and supposedly three eels. And the only evidence that exists that this actually happened, besides, I guess, the stories from those two American scuba divers, the chief has two pictures that they took while in this other part of the cave that no one else has been to. Very interesting. I couldn't imagine just diving into this dark cave where no one else has gone before. You don't know what's living there. You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if you're gonna get trapped. That's adventure, that's extreme adventure. Would you do it? Would you do it? After getting slightly freaked out while exploring the Hey Hey Cave, the girls and I headed over to Uprising Beach Resort where we would be spending the night. 
as you can tell by my hair and my face, it has been raining just, just a little bit. But I wanted to show you this resort before it gets too dark. It is called Uprising and it is so cool. Uprising Beach Resort is located in Fiji's adventure capital, Pacific Harbor, and offers a selection of authentic Fijian-themed accommodations for all budgets. My week spent in Fiji was beyond anything I could have anticipated. The food was healthy and delicious. The people as a whole were perhaps the friendliest I've ever met. The culture and customs were interesting. The landscapes were breathtaking. The accommodation options were diverse and always very impressive. And the amount of adventure to experience was never ending. Getting to travel throughout this magical place with my girlfriends was an unforgettable experience I will always remember, and a journey I encourage every group of friends that have a thirst for travel and adventure to take in their lifetime. As I always say to the places I love most, see you later, or in Fijian, Sota Tale.